All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're talking about the young man in, in Japan who was terrorizing all the Japanese people for a couple of months now, I believe, and nothing happened to him. Finally, 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 they caught up with him. And they're saying he's going to get some, some time in prison uh, out there. So maybe this is a good thing. Who knows? But you know what I mean? So let's get to it, man. Sketchpad, we be back. Yeah, man, we back. If you would like to be notified on the Sketchpad podcast uh, whenever we drop the content, hit that notification bell and y'all see all of our episodes when they drop. Also, too, we're going to be dropping more episodes. You know what I'm saying? More shorts, more everything. We almost at 10,000 subscribers. We're trying to reach a million. So whoever is not subscribed, who watches our stuff, just hit that subscribe button. You're not going to be disappointed. We do all types of stuff from wearing masks. You know what I'm saying? You know, all types of stuff. You know, the cool cop. You know what I'm saying? The cool cop. Get over there. Get over there. The cool cop. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? So we do different types of things to reactions. We're the most unique reactors on the planet. The greatest podcast in the world. You know what it is. Yes. So. Wait till y'all see what we're doing for Halloween in next month. It's going to be crazy. Y'all going to be surprised. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Dig it. You know. You know. So, you know what I mean? So, let's get into it, man. We're going to talk about this story. This guy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Thank y'all for the super chats and the donations, too. We appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's get it. Before getting his face-to-face -face meet with the street, banned and then unbanned on kick, a stream from August 30th is found of him trespassing into a Japanese construction site. Ah, uh, Chad, what the did I get myself into? So now, he just got rolled on by 10 Japanese coppers. Why did unmarked car? How many cops is this? Yo, what is this? Who are these guys? Okay, okay, okay. okay. And after he was taken into custody, it looks like he actually live streamed the police looking through his still unlocked phone. Johnny Somari, no name de. As Senkei News's post is in Japanese, but roughly translates into calling him a nuisance broadcaster being arrested for breaking into a construction site, where trespassing in Japan can result in three years in prison and or a fine of 100,000 yen, which is about $600 US. But more importantly, Japan has a 99.8% conviction rate. Now I don't want to venture too far into the land of wishful thinking, but the incident he's being arrested for is over a month old and Rhea originally covered his nuisance streams over three months ago where even then he was having frequent police interactions. So could it be possible that the cops were just sitting back recording his streams, letting him build a stronger case against himself and finally when him and his buddy got dropped in the street, they actually had to go book him before it went too far. I guess that's just wishful thinking, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because this trend of monetizing your fatherless behavior is finally ending. As it didn't end with just him, as more members of the shoe-sized IQ crew are going down as well. They can't tell me what the f is going on with Somali right now. The embassy is useless. That's what I'm saying. Gino, they're gonna get you as an accomplice. You think so? I don't know what to do, Chad. I honestly don't know anymore. So I just got off the phone with the uh, Minami police. They're looking for me. 
bro, I don't understand. I can't run. Even if I if it, even if I went to the airport right now, try to hop on a flight to Thailand, they're probably not even gonna let me on the plane, bro. Oh so my god, they have here? private investigators out here, bro, already <laughs> waiting for me. I'm going, you know what I mean? No. No. No, that's not okay. You're harassing me for no reason. I gotta go, guys. I'm 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 getting arrested, so so hopefully that'll be the end of it, because if the Japanese authorities just let this slide, you can almost guarantee it'll spawn more talentless toddlers to come take advantage of your country's culture of kindness. Because if they get out with no jail time and deportation, he's already said nothing will stop him. It's either I get permabanned or I get killed. That's the only way I'm gonna stop streaming. What's up, What's up brother? Boys? What, what'd you say? He just yeah, said it. See you later, boys. I was about to say, we gotta watch out. Look, the only people yeah, we watching out for is the white dudes. We, watch, watch we, yeah. the, we ain't worried about the Japanese. And see how that works? He doesn't respect the Japanese whatsoever, but after getting a taste of the concrete just one time, he knows who he can't bully anymore. And more importantly, he's broadcasting these facts to thousands of people online. So in my opinion, they have to lock him up, not only as punishment for his actions, but to send the message loud and clear that bothering the Japanese public is not a career, but a pipeline to prison. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the- Oh man. <clears throat> See what I'm saying, bro? See what I'm saying? The exact same thing that these knuckle-headed fools are doing, right? Is the exact same thing that young boy was doing on TikTok. And that Mexican cartel ran down on him in that party. Man, listen, let me explain something to y'all, man. America is the greatest country in the world. And for good reason. Because in America, there's certain things that you can do. And you can... How would I say this? You can uh, get a lawyer to defend your idiotic actions. You know what I'm saying? America has, America is like two Americas. It's like one for the idiots and one for the smart people. But either way, it's balanced out to be good because if you're an idiot, you can get defense. If you're smart, you won't need defense. You know what I'm saying? But that's how America works. So what we do is we go to these other countries and we believe that that applies there too. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't. The Japanese people are very humble people. Very humble people. They don't really get into goofy stuff like this. And then you got people like him who go there and they take full advantage of these people. Kindness. Because uh -huh. they feel as though that they want to, they want to uh, sensationalize and do things for their audience. You know what I'm saying? They want to get in front of their audience to say something. This is what really makes me mad about this. Okay, you have real issues going on, and then you have people on Instagram who promote stuff to me that are going directly going against reality, right? But then you have people like this who people on Instagram who claim that they're there for justice and truth and and uh, righteousness. They don't never talk about these people who does stuff like this. They don't never demonize them. They'll demonize people because they they disagree with them religiously or politically. But people like this, they don't care. These are the real nuisance of 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 the of the world. You go to a whole nother country and you disrupt their way of living with your live streams because you want to be famous, infamous, I should say, in front of people. It's stupid. I hope he get the maximum time they can give him because there's no way in the world you can sit here and tell me that you did that in good faith. Everything you doing is in bad faith. Everything you doing. You ain't doing nothing in good faith. And then your boy said the embassy is useless. Well, maybe they seen the tapes and said, well, we, we why would we help y'all? 
Why? When you're clearly doing stuff that's illegal, that's, that really killed me that he said that. There's people who really need the embassy. And you're going to yeah. say the embassy is useless because they won't help y'all. After y'all was doing all this illegal stuff, breaking the law, then you get on and say, do you have to kill me? I'm never going to stop live streaming. You that, you, you're that much entrenched into it that you want to be killed on live. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. Yeah, man. I, I I don't get it with this generation, man. I really don't, man. I don't get it. I don't understand what's the need to do like that just for views. I don't get it, man. Like, there's so many ways to entertain your audience without breaking and entering, without doing stupid stuff to harm yourself. There's so many ways. We do it all the time on our show. There is so many ways to stream without embarrassment. How dare you go to another person's country, another man's land, right? And go say the embassy is useless. Then you go and say, they're going to have to kill me. If they want me to stop streaming, what? Let, let me stop you right there, right? And I'm gonna let you continue. Let me stop you right there. You noticed that he went to Japan and did that. Yeah. He ain't go to Russia and do it. Oh hell no. He ain't go to no. he ain't go to China. Uh, he ain't go to uh South Korea and do it. No. He went to Japan because he know that them people nice. But go ahead, bro. Yeah. He he knew he knew where he knew where to tread at. He knew where to tread at. And the funny thing is that he treaded on the parts where he knew nothing was going to really happen to him like that. There is some parts that they would have handled him. There is some parts. You know what I'm saying? I believe there's parts everywhere that he could have gotten handled quick. But it, it's such an embarrassment. You know what I'm saying to. To see to see young people like that do stuff like that and to think it's cool, it's such an embarrassment, man. And he should be embarrassed for himself. He should be embarrassed for his family. He should be embarrassed for the country that birthed him. And then he go over there and act like a dunce. You know what I'm saying like, yo, man, y'all need to chill, man. Y'all just y'all making. Y'all making the uh, the atmosphere weird for content creators, man. Y'all making it real weird, you know, just doing stuff like that. And then thinking it's cool. Let them keep doing it. We'll just keep covering it. <laughs> 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 keep on doing the dumb shit, nigga. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> keep on doing it. We'll cover it. We got you. We'll promote you. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, man, listen, man, Sketchpad, we out of here, man. Peace. See y'all. See y'all next week, man. Tom McDonald. You know what I'm saying? Saturday night. Tom McDonald live. Let's get it.